doing the first show of uh, something very special we've been working on together with the Flying Steps and uh, we're very excited it's the first time we do it we've been uh, preparing for a couple months and it's something very special and we're all super super excited about it pretty much we're doing a show music wise it's um, we're taking everyone on like a journey from the past 20 years of electronic music which um, it's very special because we're bringing back a lot of records that you know are getting not forgotten but not really a lot of people are playing those tracks and uh, that is more, more like on the music side um, it's, it's literally a journey from the past 20 years and then we are doing a full show uh, with the amazing team of uh, Flying Steps which is gonna blow everyone's mind um, I think we've been preparing a lot for it uh, full production visual everything is gonna be on point I will work really hard on it so I think it's gonna be really special yeah yeah like uh, I don't know like it became through the management and uh, we're really happy to work with Danny together and I think it's something new something special that's also what we at Flying Steps always try to find something new and now with Danny and also you know he's a great big DJ and it's also really special for us to be here on the biggest festival in Europe and of course we hope you know the people gonna like it and for the future we can build even more crazy stuff together we already talked that we want to teach him some dance moves so even we do yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, suck yeah. right now but I promise I'll get, I'll get better at some point <laughs> you anticipated one of my questions because I was really gonna ask you that are you gonna teach Danny to dance right finally yeah. <laughs> just, just kidding I'm up for it man I'm up for it you know I mean never yeah. say never <laughs> right. Come to think of it, uh, this association of a world-renowned DJ with a world-renowned dance crew is it's dance music. How come nobody ever thought of that before? That's a very good question, man. That's a very good question. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's all about trying new things. Uh, I think it's never been done before, that's for sure. And uh, I think it's an honor to try to bring something new to the table. You know? We're gonna try to keep it balanced. Of course, the, the goal, everyone's goal here is to try to take it to the next level and to tour with it, to see where it goes. We're doing the first show tonight. Um, and we see from here, of course, I think everyone is, um, you know, would really want to tour with this and take it to the next level and to bring it to as many cities as possible so everyone can enjoy it. Uh, at the same time, I have my solo project, keep going. So, you know, as much as we can keep going with everything, you know, it uh, sounds like a good plan. Well, I mean, I saw you at Never See, which yeah. was uh, beginning of July. Of the summer, yeah, man, it was a really amazing show, like every year, you know. Uh, summer Madness, I've played a couple of really amazing shows. It's uh, very tiring, very exhausting, but it's a good time uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, just pretty much shows, you know. Summer is just shows, not even time for studio or anything, just bam, bam, bam. So, you know, I'm a little bit more tired than when I saw you, but uh, probably even happier, you know, because summer really gets me excited. Uh, the next plans, yeah, tonight we're gonna kill the show, of course. That's right. And uh, yeah, we also work always on new new shows. We we travel also around the world, having our tours, and uh, we also work with Red Bull together. So there's always a lot of projects, and uh, of course we always try. We work hard too, you know, like Flying Steps. We are in the game since more than 25 years, so. It's uh, just work, work, finding new projects and uh, getting better, always stay on the top. And it's not easy because there's a lot of crews out there that are hunting for your spot. Yeah, that's right, exactly. Too many, but we used to because, yeah, you just have to be the best always, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, during the whole year, I try to be as, as focused as possible and try to kind of like 
know that during the summertime it's it's much crazier so it's gonna be difficult to sit down in the studio and finish stuff so during the whole year i try to work with that in mind so i know kind of like my um agenda in terms of music when i have to finish uh, certain stuff i've been putting out a lot of content the past year i think i released about nine or ten records and um i'm i just released a new song yesterday i released a new one in two weeks i have the next one in like a month and a half so i right now i'm really trying to put out content in a very constant um, level you know So the one I released yesterday, it's an electronic version of a single I released like two months ago. It was more like a hip hop record, but I wanted to make a version that maybe fits my sets a little better. Before that one, I released a track called Lala on Smash the House from Dimitri Vegas Like Mike. Um, and before that one, I released Good Times on Musical Freedom from TSO. And um, it's been great, you know, the response has been really good, especially because I see putting out content on a constant level makes a difference. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. So, you know, let's just keep it going. Damn, okay, give me a little clue. I mean, related to what? To whatever. Oh my God, this is tough, man. So, um, it can be from your early days, it can be from your recent past, a story that you never had the time to tell because it just happened. It can be anything. Well, I, this is gonna be a bit of a boring one, but maybe it's a fact that not a lot of people know and people make fun of me for that, all right? So for me, traveling is hard, blah, blah, but especially because I suck at eating good things. I don't eat one single piece of vegetables or fruit, okay? People don't believe that, it's true. So for me, when I travel, it's hard because whatever you buy or eat, like it has vegetables. And when I go to a restaurant and I don't can't eat that much, people make a lot of fun for that. People don't believe that I don't eat any of that. It's not like the funniest thing ever, but it's a fact that people maybe wouldn't expect from me. You had time to think now. What about you guys? That's fine. It's so funny. I'm exactly the same. Like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Mediterranean. For real? Brother. Yeah. For real? Medi <laughs> Mediterranean. Oh, man. Amazing. <laughs> wow. So you guys share an untold story. You, sh you definitely should have worked together. I mean, this is a sign. It's you know? crazy because I've only met one person like me, I think like two years ago, and I never met anyone like that before. So this is pretty crazy. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think being here is already like um, everyone should feel lucky because it's definitely one of the best festivals out there. I've played, I would say, almost every festival in the world and this is definitely one of the best, to not say the best. Um, and honestly, everyone in Romania, I've played here a couple of times and they show so much love, honestly, compared to other markets. I love every single place I play, but they show a lot of love. and. You know, to that I have a lot of respect and people that support the shows and the music and come and tweet and send messages on Instagram. That really means a lot, you know. It's definitely one of the best places in the world for sure. How about Flying Steps? Oh, I'm, I, I'm sure we're all excited to perform tonight. I mean, uh, what I what I saw and experienced a couple of days ago was the soundtrack on stage and the sound system is just crazy, man. For a dancer, it's the most important thing. If the music is like really banging, you just have to, you know, get it rocking.